Nice. The lineup is behind you. And the poster is behind you. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like the blue. Well, Benicio, you were uh, checking out the uh, background there. Yeah. The lineup. Which yeah. one are you? I'm number two from right to left. From right to left. Okay. Tall guy, but that makes me much taller than I am. <laughs> I'm not 6'4". <six>, <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 6'1". Oh, okay. <laughs> Give him yeah. three inches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, congratulations to all of you on The Usual Suspects. Thank you. That is, I, I really enjoyed it. I did. I'm That's glad, a, yeah. Yeah, it keeps you going, you know. Yeah, I enjoyed it too myself. When you first read the script, were you able to figure it out as you went along, thinking this, this? I, when I first read the script, I don't know if I, um, if I really got it, you know, if I really understood what was going on. All these names and all this, like, and I have to turn the pages back and go, what's, what's a flashback? What's not a flashback, you know? But, um, no, I didn't get it the first time. I had to read it twice. Seeing the movie was a different story. It's a little bit easier to do. But uh, still, when I saw it, it was a, a while after we shot it, I still kind of like got completely pulled into the story and kind of like forgot about who was the, who was behind it all. You know? So I was like completely pulled into the story which is which is wonderful, you know. I wasn't looking at myself. Every time I see a movie that I'm in, the first time I'm always looking at myself and cringing. And, you, know. you are described as the unpredictable character. Unpredictable. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In what way do you think your character is unpredictable? I just think he's unpredictable. Maybe in his body language. And... Uh, in his decision making, uh, maybe there's some some else that I'm. Is he kind of out of his league in any way at all? Meaning out of his league, like. Um, I mean, maybe. Um, the job is too big for him. Or maybe he thinks that the others are, you know. I think he's, you know, I think like, I think he's the smartest of them all. I think he's the one who spots the wave and says that it's coming and I'm getting out of here. And I think that's a smart choice. He sees it coming before anybody else. So I thought uh, in that way he's the smartest of them all, the most, uh, the most uh, cautious, which is, um, I don't know, maybe a smart gutless maybe too, you know. For you, a year or two from now, and you think about this movie, what is the first thing that will come to mind? Any particular day of shooting or what? I think that lineup was quite a lot of fun to do. Having Gabriel Byrne uh, uh, crack up, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I, I, um, I think that, you know, even the director was laughing, everybody was laughing that day. It was just silly and silly but magical in, in one way or the other. Um, having a, everybody was kind of like so relaxed. I don't think we ever finished one full take that day, that we did the whole lineup without someone laughing. So they just had to do cuts here, yeah, cuts had, there. Yeah, they had to. They had to put it together like yeah. that. Benicio was good here. Take that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chaz was, no, not Chaz. He wasn't in the lineup. Yeah, but. Uh, Gabriel or Stephen Baldwin or Kevin Spacey was good here. Keep that. <laughs> or Kevin Pollock. And was it a full day of shooting that you did that? We, it wasn't a full day. It was, we spent about four hours there, but we never finished it. We never, they never, they were never able to do a full shot with all of us at the same time without a cut that was serious. It's just every time we cracked, I don't know, one one time was this, the other time was something else, and 
you know, time was a director, or it's just, it was just funny. Uh, Stephen Baldwin would do something. The outtakes of that have to be a movie in themselves. I, I hear they are. I haven't seen them, but I hear they are. Well, I saw them. Uh, they did uh, the editor, John Ottman, did a, he put together like outtakes of the film, and it was uh, it was really funny. It was really funny, like bloopers, you know. I pay a lot of money to see that. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I pay a lot it. of money to have that. I want it. Yeah, <laughs> it's really funny. Do most people recognize you from or remember you from Drug, Ro Drug Wars, the series? Uh, some people do, especially when it came out. That was a good miniseries. That was a really good miniseries. I'm glad you brought that up. Because that was like, you can't get it on video anywhere. I wonder why. And he won the Emmy, too. Hmm. And, um, you know, when you when you show something on TV, it just lasts for three days, and then just a limited amount of people can see it. So I was recognized a little bit, you know, um, when it came out, but not not after. I think though, in the industry, among casting uh, agents, oh yeah, and all. Uh, yeah, among the industry, yes, of yeah. course, yeah, of course, of course, and you know, yeah. Benicio, we've used up our time, but it's nice having a chance to talk with you and to meet you. It's wonderful. And uh, congratulations to all of you on The Usual Suspects. It's Thank a you heck of much. a picture. I liked it. I liked it, too. Thanks. Thank you. Stopping tape.